Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing from Model Railway. In today's lesson, we're going to continue on with the ferry band I'm working on, and we're going to be looking at adding the underframe details or some of the underframe details. So, the first thing I want to do is if we get the plans turned on. So, we can see that we've got the underframes underneath here, and on the side, we've got a nice view. Unfortunately, it's for some reason, on the plan, it's got like a curved base, and all the pictures I, I've got actually aren't the best end on but it doesn't actually look like it's curved it does look like it, it just goes relatively straight across so i'm going to be doing it as a, a flat buffer being off the end here and we will be using the um, uic buffer that we drew in a lesson a few weeks ago so the first thing we'll look at really is the the side frame under uh, the under frame here and you can see how it's recessed back so jumping back into Fusion, I'm going to just start by creating on the, the base here, a simple rectangular base on the bottom of the, the wagon we've already created. So I'm going to start with a, a normal rectangle, start in the corner, I'm going to drag it across. Um, I don't want it to snap to the origin point there. Um, look. I think, actually no I do want to come. Now, I'm not going to snap to the origin, I'm going to make it move across the origin with its, its length though. Okay, um, so let's, oh actually, I just snapped up to that corner, I don't want that. So starting there, and come across. So. Okay, so dimension this for the width. Um, let's go for 8mm to start with. Got total width. Let's inspect that. Total width of our wagon is 8.75. That's going to give us a 0.75 recess, which probably will be okay. And we're going to add that to 32. That's a bit long. And then extrude that. And two millimeters probably a bit too long. We have a one point seven five. Yeah, one point seven five. I think there. Yeah. Sort of matches there. That's come all the way along. I might want to bring this back actually. Oh, we got in the pictures, it is slightly recessed from the end of the wagon, which is fine. So come down, edit that sketch. Let's bring that back. Like that, so 31.4. Okay, so the next thing we'll draw on the, the end here is the buffer beam. You see how it's got a diagonal corner and it sits slightly lower than the side here. So I'm just going to create a, another sketch on that front face there. Um, I'm using... It's coming out further, so I'm going to have to come across here as well. So I'm going to draw a line from the point that we've just... Uh, of the unfair we've just drawn. I'm going to come across... 0.5 millimeters, and then come down to the same height as the frame we've already drawn, and I'm going to come diagonally down in line with that position. Um, like that. Let's just dimension from the bottom there to there. So that's 0.5. That's gone at an angle then. Let's make sure it doesn't move by horizontally vertical straining it, and then we can change to 0.5. Uh, horizontally and vertical strain those two points, and then that'll fix that in place. Okay, then we'll just bring that across like that, and then close in. So we should have two sections we can extrude there. I'm going to do an extrusion on those two pieces. 
if you rotate that round, I'm going to do two sided uh, extrusion. I'm just going to come out say 0.2, 0.3. And in the other direction, I'm going to go 0 0.2. Make sure that's a join. I'm just making that so it's 0 0.5, a bit of meat on there so that it's got a bit of strength to it. Okay, yeah, happy with that. So the next thing we need to do is get this buffer that we've had in the previous. Um, video into this, this video as well. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is import the UIC buffer we've drawn on the previous video. So we're going to go and open a file. Uh, UIC buffer in N. And then to be able to transfer this across, what we need is um, to capture the, the design history. Um, without losing it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a, a quick change to this. I'm going to make this a circular one. So it needs to match this circle here. So I'm just going to create a sketch on that inner surface center point circle using the midpoint matching the circle on the outside there. And then I should actually wait a minute that's on the wrong surface. So let's get rid of that. Let's get on there, find the midpoint, too big, let's find the radius of this one then, um, probably the easiest way is to do that circle there, is that centre point, so 2.61 millimetres. We delete that sketch, edit that one, define the radius of this 2.61 millimeters, and then we can extrude and cut off all of that on the outside, just leaving this that center piece of the buffer face. Probably is a little bit thick now. Let's measure that. No point. No point six one. So we're just going to close that up a little bit. We have zero point two. Okay, so I'm happy with this buffer as it is now. I'm going to copy it across. So to be able to copy this, you need to create this as a component. So create component from bodies. Actually let's have a look at that. Why is that done? So we should only have one body. We don't. So get rid of you and you. We don't need you too. So create components from bodies. So we've only got that one body now. What we can then do is copy that component into the ferry car van and then come up to the top and then paste new and that will import that component into this design and we can move it to a position where we're happy with it. Mean on it. We need to rotate it 180 degrees. Let's get it matching positionally better to start with. Okay, where is this position that way? So we can rotate it 180 degrees there. 
And now what we need to do is match it onto the front of the buffer beam here. So I'm just moving it around using this center joystick here. It's going to line it up roughly where I think I want it. If we look at the picture, you see how it's the buffer's sort of in line with the base and just after this diagonal part there. Okay, and the buffer actually is upside down there. So I'm going to rotate it this direction 180 because we've got a top surface here where this folds down onto. So actually, this probably needs to come across first to be in line with that. So have a look. Yeah, you'll need to be in line. I'm pretty sure that that curved part. Okay, so that's touching them. Overlapping slightly there, which is fine because that means they'll merge into one when I join the two. I'm happy with that there, I think. So I can just click on OK. That now becomes part of our model, and then we can combine those. Capture the position of everything and combine that body with the body of the buffer here. And that should merge into one. Let's just click the history back to clean that up. Sometimes Fusion does that every now and again when it goes a little bit hissy. You just go backwards and forwards in the history and it cleans it back up. So that body's now merged as one complete body now. So we've now got our buffer added in. Okay, so I'm going to finish this video here and obviously we'll continue on on the next lesson working on the detail to add in.